you come into this life with a certain amount of luck when it comes to business, and some of you marry into wealth or inherit large sums of money. You are truly blessed. One of your challenges in life is to share the blessings with others, and not try to keep it all to yourself. You may at some point in your life understand that the real blessings in life is the ability to share with others. By helping the world you not only bless yourself, but you bless others in a very meaningful manner. On the negative side of all these blessings lies the tendency to keep it all for yourself, which leaves you feeling empty, cold and alone. You are very capable of creating a very large business or organization, that will be quite successful financially. But before you do this it's always best that you set the intention of helping others so they too can improve their lives. It would also benefit you to find some sort of artistic outlet. This will allow you to express yourself that you may otherwise have a difficult time doing emotionally. You want a great deal of love and admiration, so long term relationships are a real challenge for you because it's difficult for one person to supply you with all of the praise that you seek. This can lead to a change in partnerships. This is especially true if you are a woman. At some point in your life you will learn to love yourself enough that you won't need anyone else to do that for you. And it will be at this point in life that you are able to settle down to a long term commitment or marriage. But on some level your partner needs to understand that work always has to come first in order to make sure that the blessings continue to flow. Your mind is very keen and well equipped at dissecting anything related to philosophy, religion or spirituality. In fact, these subjects truly fascinate you. You possess a tremendous amount of intuition and should participate in exercises such as yoga, meditation, anything metaphysical. You're very connected to those realms, and it's here that you discover your faith. As far as your career goes, your interests are usually technical, metaphysical or scientific. You normally prefer to work alone, without any distractions, so you can see your projects through to the very end. You do spend a lot of time alone, and some prefer to sleep alone, even if they're married. There is something about sharing a bed with someone that is very intrusive on the energetic level. Be careful to not spend too much time alone, you just may end up a hermit. You're not very emotional, or at least you have a difficult time understanding your own emotions, and even more of a difficult time expressing them. In fact you view most emotional people as being silly and very random. You take a much more analytical approach to things. It's important for you to always search out a perfect balance between your heart and your mind. Your mind seems to be very fixed and stubborn. Your mind can convince you to be cold hearted and cynical, and this is when you need to hand everything over to your heart. The key to life is learning to share your feelings, trust in others, and try to not to be so mental about everything. Since you were born under the astrological sign of Gemini you can be, inquisitive, affectionate, open minded, perceptive, objective, clever and witty, eloquent, cheerful kind, charming, versatile, savvy, imaginative, generous, inventive, adaptable and communicative, but you can also be restless, nervous and tense, fickle, two-faced, nosy, quickly bored, argumentative, manipulative and indecisive. Here are some suggestions on how you can bring positive change into your life, focus then commit. Follow through on everything, trust even when it's not easy. Look at the big picture, stop putting things off it's now or never for God's sake. Relax. Mind your own bloody business and for once in your life make a decision, and most importantly learn to love yourself and others unconditionally.